All right, so we're gonna talk about edge smoothing. But before I do that, this is kind of a prominent detail and it's fairly small. So there's an argument to be made for this little piece here and this little piece there where um, I don't actually, I don't really need both of them because you can never see the same, you can't see them on the, you know, at the same time. And there's not really a relationship between this object and this and the thing underneath it. So like this can have scratches on it that don't necessarily need to speak to what's going on here. So it's not gonna look weird if there's a scratch here that doesn't continue on onto the surface there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna delete those pieces there. And it doesn't buy us a huge amount of space in the in the UVs, but it's, oh, that's interesting. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to, uh, I didn't have the, the front part selected. Anyway, whatever, no big deal. So that's, well, there you go. That's why like, don't waste your time laying out your UVs because like, man, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to come back and play with them. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold the shift, left click on the layout to get the options. Layout button right here. And I'll leave everything as it was, hit apply. So basically what I did is I've got, I have one of these, but I, I don't, I do actually want there to be two of these in the UVs. I want them to have unique UVs because if like you're staring at it and there's like the same scratch on both of them, you're just gonna know, oh, this is the same thing. But you will not have that same effect with this area here. So there's no reason to allow these to have unique UVs. So I'm gonna come over here and hit F8, go to object mode, we'll select this, and then I'm gonna to go to uh, edit mesh. There's mirror, I always have to look for it. Okay. So currently, because I did the UVs, and then I duplicated the mirror, or the mirrored the geometry, they are going to have the exact same UVs, which can be a huge advantage. Because you can basically do the UVs for one and then you just duplicate it and you're in good shape. Um, which is what I'm going to end up doing for that geometry back there. Once I'm, I'm done with the bakes. But for these, I actually want these to have unique UVs. So I've duplicated it. And now you can see these. we've got these little two here. And I'll just do another layout. And now I've got unique UVs for our little Amy bits up there, which is fine. Now I just need to make sure that for my aimer, I have high poly geometry sitting in that same space. So we'll do the same thing. Just throw a mirror on there. So I'm gonna do a, a little operation here that makes the geometry marginally more expensive from a performance perspective, but will generally speaking give great bakes. And it is, you can sort of see this faceting here, right? Like the low poly has got this, this crunchiness in it. And I don't want any of that, but I do want there to be, um, this, the reason this is happening is because we're basically, the verts are, well, let's see, what's the easiest way to explain it. So this face here and this face here, they actually have each, each vert that's sitting on these, these, uh, these faces is inheriting the normal of the face, which means there's a, the normal is like a perpendicular vector. So like the, this face normal is this way and this face normal is this way. And the vertices actually have their own normals that can be separate from the faces, but the vert normal is what controls the lighting. So in fact, there's a way to show it. It's probably, this might probably overkill, but whatever. Let's see, display polygons, uh, face normals. I wonder why that didn't work, maybe because I don't have my polygons. Let's try that again. So display, polygons, can I see face normals? Yeah, okay, so these green lines here are all of the face normals. And if I go, and you can see they're just perpendicular vector to each face. So I'm gonna turn those off, uh, face normals, display polygons, but if I turn on vertex normals, you can see basically the same thing. So like this vertex actually has four individual normals for every single face that it's associated with. So if I come over and I go to mesh display, I'm gonna unlock even though it's probably not necessary. And then I'm gonna hit uh, soften. What it does is it takes all of the vertex normals 
that were individually associated with each face and it puts them it basically makes them it averages them, them all out and what you get is this nice smooth lighting and we no longer see the faceting now all we see is uh, a, a nice smooth lighting and that's because the the lighting again is controlled by the vertex normals and the vertex normals are all pointing in the same direction as you cross these faces so it can look fine unless you get a lot of distortion or a lot of a lot of change and then you get these like weird little lighting artifacts here so the lighting artifacts are, are a little bit kind of a, a clue that maybe you need to adjust your edge hardness or edge smoothness. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Where is it? Display, polygons, vertex normals. So I could definitely just go ahead and bake this and probably get decent results and be on my merry way. But some of these areas here where there's like a big change you're very likely to get kind of crappy bakes because of how the baking operation works and that is also a thing that might be worth getting into but I can just show you the solution and then we'll kind of if, if downstream it makes sense to talk about it we'll go ahead and talk about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edge mode I'm gonna select all of my edges and then go to select texture borders and you can see it just grabs all the texture borders I'm going to go ahead and scoot this over and then we can go to mesh display harden edge so if I go to my object mode you can see now we've sort of resolved a lot of that that ugly lighting and this is going to bake a little bit more cleanly kind of thinking about yeah I'm not sure there's a better way to do that little area right there I think that makes the most sense so we'll do the same thing with our little component parts here just going to select everything. We'll go to uh, unlock normals. So that's mesh display, unlock normals, and then go to edge mode, select the edges, select texture borders. Sorry, I think I forgot a step, but basically that's it. We'll just be making everything smooth. And then now that my texture borders down here are selected, actually I'm going to do that, so let's just back out. So we'll go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge, grab these edges, select the texture borders, Mesh Display, Harden Edge. Okay, so this geometry is now pretty much ready to bake. I didn't really look at what was going on here. That's a big drop in there. So it might make sense to go ahead and cut that stuff there. Let's just take a look. We'll do a quick cut operation. And we can just do a, um, uh, an unfold. So we've got a little bit of a, of a change there. So I think that's actually worth hanging on to. And basically we're just asking, again, imagine if this is a cardboard box, like you would just get a ton of distortion. So it's better to go ahead and, and uh, give that a, a break so that it can you can get some breathing room and every all the the geometry can can have what it needs in terms of resolution that's totally fine so once again I'm going to select everything we've broken that apart and i'm just going to go to layout so one more reason not to mess with your uvs until you're like real real happy with them not by mess but i just mean like you know get in there and noodle with some some little you know, packing detail or something. Did I have everything selected? Make sure there's nothing overlapping. Great. Okay, so this is now pretty much ready to bake. There's one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide my low poly stuff. We'll go to the high. Shift H. I want to make sure that my my bakes, I mean my my edges all look pretty good here because again, you know, if if uh if for some reason we had like a a hardened edge or a softened edge, you'd lose those nice sharp edges there. Cool. Okay, yeah. So, uh we we are ready to bake this and I will walk through the process of setting that up in the next video.